the corner of Michigan and Trumbull. For more than 100 years, the home of professional baseball in Detroit. Tiger Stadium for me was a place that involved more memories for more people than just about any other place in Michigan. You can't just walk away as if it was never part of your history. And I didn't come down when they were demolishing it either. Yeah, I just couldn't do it here. It's kind of like watching a good friend be axed to death. Yeah. Today, all that is left is the baseball diamond and the flagpole that stood in play in center field. A small group of devoted fans has decided to take matters into their own hands. We have a passion for this field just like the grounds crew did in 1928. They call themselves the Navin Field Grounds Crew. Driven by a profound connection to the corner, they spend their Sundays mowing the grass, raking weeds, picking up trash, and painting baselines so people can still enjoy this historic site. You cannot keep down this urge for people to memorialize the very place that they love. Is this truly sacred ground? Can baseball touch our very souls? And why are people so devoted to preserving history? In a city facing negative headlines for high crime rates, political corruption, and a serious financial crisis, this sounds like a true feel-good story for Detroit. But city officials have not embraced this grassroots preservation effort. The city sees it as trespassing, but they view the field as home. Stealing home is one of the rarest and most difficult feats in all of baseball. But on opening day in 1912, Ty Cobb scored the Tigers' first ever run at Navin Field by stealing home. If Ty Cobb could do it for the Tigers 100 years ago, perhaps the Navin Field grounds crew can steal this baseball home for the people of Detroit today. It won't be easy, but they're determined to either do it or get thrown out trying. <laughs>